going to talk about math pace 1086. All right, math pace 1086. And uh, this concept is on page six. Um, at the beginning of the pace, they talk about adding when we have the same sign. So if you're adding two numbers and they're both positive, that's easy. You've been doing that since kindergarten. If you're adding negative numbers and they're both negative, then when you get your answer, you just add the two numbers. When you get the answer, you just attach the negative sign. So we add and keep the common sign when the signs are the same. What gets tricky is when the signs are different, and that's what um, Nina Faithful is talking about here at the top of page six. Let's illustrate. Sometimes I think students get kind of bogged down with all the technical terminology of absolute values and so let's just simplify it a little bit technically this isn't correct but if we remember this and memorize it it'll help us i always tell my students to memorize when the signs are different okay if we're adding and the signs are different subtract the smaller from the larger Keep the sign of the larger. Now, technically, I should be saying absolute value for all three of those, but let's just say it again. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Okay, say it with me. Here we go. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. All right, it has a little jingle to it, you know, if you think about it. So here we have tw negative 28 and positive 57. So the absolute values here, okay, don't see the, the 28 is smaller than the 57. So we're going to subtract the smaller from the larger. So I'm going to rewrite this here next to it as 57 subtract 28, okay? So we get 9. 29. Now, which was larger, the absolute value, the 28 or the 57? 57. That was positive, so my answer stays positive, okay? Here, I have a positive number on the top, a negative number on the bottom. So, I subtract smaller from the larger, so 120, I subtract from 420. So that would be 300, and I keep the sign of the larger, which is the positive in this case. Okay? Ah, oh dear. When you turn the page, you're going to see they have fractions and decimals. The rule is still the same. Okay? We're adding a positive, okay, plus a negative. So we're going to subtract the smaller fraction, 3 fifths, from 4 fifths which would give us 1, okay? 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 fifth. And in this case, the answer, because this was larger, would be larger. I don't know why I made all of these to come out positive. All right, let's change this and say, what if that was negative and this one was positive, okay? We would still subtract 3 fifths from 4 fifths and get 1 fifth, but then the answer would be negative 1 fifth, okay? Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. All right, hopefully that helps you with that concept, and we have more we need to talk about in this pace.